I really love this work. This is called the Boycott Performance, and it's done with a woman that I'm still very close with, Laverne Dunn, and it's in the middle of a much larger contextual work. The Equal Rights Amendment, which you may not have heard of, the Equal Rights Amendment was started in the 20s, early 20s, hasn't passed today. We do not have an Equal Rights Amendment for women in the United States Constitution. But in 1979, it was ratified, has to be ratified by, I think, 38 states, it was ratified in 35 states, and there it stopped. So nationally, women created, uh, activists created a boycott of every state that hadn't ratified it. They weren't going to have a convention there. So here's the College Art Association saying, we're going to New Orleans. And here's the Women's Caucus for the Arts saying, oh my gosh, we can't go to New Orleans. It's a boycott state. What do we do? So the Women's Caucus for the Arts divided into two political camps. One group said, we're going to have a conference someplace else, an alternate conference. And the other group who approached me said, we're going to go to New Orleans because women there want us to come and support their work, but we need to do it in a different way. So I said, okay, let's plan the whole conference as a performance artwork. So women across the country came and they stayed in local women's homes. They prepared food. Uh, they ate food prepared by women. They purchased food from other women. They didn't participate in the tourist culture. So they still came, but they boycotted the tourist culture. So Laverne and I, we're cooking corn in front of the famous corn cob fence and the French Quarter. We're cooking our own cafe au lait in front of Café du Monde. We're creating gumbo in front of Antoine's. And over here, we're cooking by the riverside, we're cooking fish. So all of this was sort of a parody of why you go to New Orleans to eat. The idea was to symbolize that this conference was coming, that women's community was going to be celebrated, that Underneath it all was this notion of passing the Equal Rights Amendment, plus obviously relating cross-culturally. 500 women showed up with amazing kinds of food, and these women were so different. I mean, obviously the issues in this work are still very salient today. Issues of racism and classism still exist. But I hope people interested in social art practices will begin to understand the sort of depth of thinking that goes on and the difficulty of how to reveal that as a formal consideration in art.